Hello Gators! Today our breakfast biography is Mae Jemison. This is compiled by Eric Braun. Growing up, Mae Jemison was born in Decatur, Alabama in 1956. She had an older brother and sister. At age three, her family moved to Chicago. In this picture, it's Decatur, Alabama, and the timeline starts in 1956 when Mae Jemison was born. While growing up, Mae went to Morgan Park High School in Chicago. She enjoyed reading and learning about science. She loved learning about space. In this image, we see a science class at Morgan Park High School. The timeline shows 1956. This timeline starts at 1977, where May goes to medical school. This is an image of May on the phone. In 1977, May went to college to become a doctor. She helped sick and hungry people in Asia and Africa. She taught them how to stay healthy, but May was still interested in space. The timeline now shows 1985, where May applies for a job at NASA. May wanted to be an astronaut at NASA. In 1985, she applied for a job there. NASA is the United States program for exploring space. Here's an image of May talking to reporters about becoming an astronaut. The timeline now shows 1987, where May becomes an astronaut. May got the job as an astro astronaut in 1987, but she did not go to space right away. First, May had to train on the ground. She had to learn about flying in space. And here's an image of May training at NASA in 1987. In 1992, May finally blasted into space on the shuttle Endeavor. She was the first African-American woman to fly in space. The timeline at the bottom now shows 1992 flies on shuttle Endeavor with an image there on the left. May did science experiments on herself and the crew. She wanted to see what space did to their health. Here in this picture is May and another astronaut that get ready for an experiment. The shuttle was in space for eight days. May was famous when she returned to Earth. She gave speeches about her time in space. She appeared on television. Here's a picture of May as she looks at Earth from the inside of the shuttle Endeavour. May left NASA in 1993. She wanted to work with young people. In 1994, May began a science camp for kids. Today, May teaches kids how to follow their dreams. So now at the bottom of the timeline goes to 1994, where she starts a science camp for kids. At the back of our book, we have a glossary. Talks about several words there and their meanings. We also have a read more section that has books and internet sites that you can explore and then the index at the back of the book. If you are interested in learning more about Mae Jemison, we have a series of biographies that you're welcome to put on hold. I will check out and put out front for you to pick up. Have a great day, Gators.